welcome to the CSI Arena and the 2018 U.S. Open 8 Ball Championships. We are hosted here in Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are being proudly presented by Q Sports International. Our proud sponsors for the event include the Rio Hotel and Casino, Simonis, Diamond, Cyclop, Acme Cases, and Predator 1080 Pure Chalk. We're being streamed live on playcsipool.com forward slash live, watch dash live. This is eight ball. It is a race to eight. Alternate break, rack your own. Right now I'd like to introduce our two outstanding opponents for this match. It is a no loss side of the chart match. And right now, let's put our hands together. He's, spread, he's sponsored by Predator Cues, High Rock, and the Albania Snooker Federation. Hailing from Albania, let's put our hands together for Eklint Kachi. <laughs> and hailing from the United States of America, sponsored by Q-Tech, the USA Pool League, and Ultimate Team Gear. Let's put our hands together for Shane Van Boning! I want to turn it over to my two esteemed colleagues in the booth, Freddie Ognier and George Teachea. Gentlemen, have a great match. You may lag for a break. Well, George, we've what a got match. a great match here. This is quite... Uh, well, what a treat. Klentikachi versus Shane Van Boning. I've been reading in the in some of the forums uh, this, this a couple threads on these players, and it seems that the viewing public would like to see a big match from these guys. Uh, they're going to see one right here, uh, playing eight ball. And these two gentlemen are on the winner's side. This is a, this is a fourth round match. Uh, Shane, from the get-go, had a bye, defeated Brandon Schuff, uh, sent Josh Roberts to the to the one-loss side, and now he faces uh, Eklund Kachi. And Mr. Kachi also had a bye, uh, beat Rory Hendr Hendrickson and Corey Duell, and faces the South Dakota Kid, last year's runner-up. In the, in the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. I think that uh, Shane is pretty hungry to win this one also. I know he's won the 10-Ball. He's not going to be yes. satisfied with that. Uh, he had a great lead last year and let it slip away. Yes, he did. Clenty is, uh, you know, a lot of people think Clenty is the future. And uh, Shane, yes. Shane wants to make sure that's the future, not the present. Yeah. Well, Shane is pretty much saying that his future isn't over. That's right. But um, both players have explosive power, control, and uh, pocket pocketing abilities. Uh, they're both at the top of their game. Both balls look pretty good here. He's got to make the first ball. Looks like he's flying this 11 ball. Mm -hmm. But if he gets there, cue ball will go three rails around to the center of the table. Oh, he's blasting through ball, so he's hoping for a leave. He's got one. He's got one because the ball is hanging. Does the eight ball pass the two? It certainly looks it. Sure. I'm going to say yes, but even if it doesn't, You're he's going to he's going to make the ten to get open up the other pocket. So he's doing his thing. Doing his thing. And they both, you know, both these guys have an explosive break, um, and, and they pocket balls well. We're going to see. I think we're going to see some break and runs. If not, maybe maybe we all break all and the lots break of break and runs. runs. We have seen Shane on the seven-foot table um, uh, having a perfect match playing eight ball versus Josh Roberts uh, two years ago. Um, well, Shane has been one of the best eight ball players in the country for as long as I've known him, even when he was young. Mm -hmm. he, played, he knows how to play this game. I mean, it's uh, great patterns. 
when I, when I say he knows how to play this game, I'm talking about eight ball. He doesn't just power through it like a professional player. Correct. He knows how. He knows the right patterns, and he understands how good his pocketing ability is. So the patterns spread out much better for him. Also, he is. He has more room for error on this batter. I think so. I think yeah. so. Well, Shane is the highest-rated Fargo player. Uh, Eklund, of course, is at 802, so he's number 13 on the list. They're not far apart. Not far Ten apart points. at all. I will tell you, when I've watched both of these players play eight ball on this table, go out of limb, I mean, this is hard, hardly a hard opinion. Shane is a couple of balls better, if you want to call it that. Mm. Pretty strong statement. It is a strong statement, and um, it's, it's, I'm not just saying that because Shane's from the United States. I'm an eight ball player as you are. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, you know, appreciating the patterns, Shane has uh, better ones. Clenty powers through a few things. Sure. You know? And a little draw back, and he's on the eight for the same pocket. The same pocket. And the first rack goes to Shane. My feeling is this, uh, that, that Shane is saying that you better break and run everything back to you or else. You're going to see a lot of this, and, and then I'll take some of yours, too, if you don't break and run. Pretty much what he's saying. Uh, Eklund comes to the table. He knows he's facing probably his most dangerous opponent. Yep, I agree. I mean, there's some other world beaters here, but this is the man to beat. Mm -hmm. Shane, not, Shane is, that is. And not many people um, do that. This will be pretty interesting. You know, I think a lot of people want to see Clenty versus Shane in the 10 ball. Shane, in the long race? Well, no, no, just uh, in, the, in the 10 ball, Shane has already beat Clenty in the last... Uh, in the U.S. Open 10 ball championship as Shane went on to win. Now here they are on the streaming table Playing. for eight ball. Mm -hmm. Yet another discipline. Shane wanted to remind him that the bottom two balls, the corner balls, have to be of different suits. Do you know the rules for the WPA? I do. Okay, and then the, is that required? That, in, in that, that is that's also required. Okay. So Clenty should know that. So if he's putting them on there wrong, then maybe there's some nerves going. <laughs> and he is breaking flat off the end rail, Let me which he was also doing for the 10 ball. Mm. What's going on? No, I was going to ask you. I said, do you get nervous when you play Shane? <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? Uh, okay, smacked him. Did, did nothing Nothing drop. went in. Nothing I was going to say I didn't hear anything go nothing in. Nothing is rolling. 5, 10, 15. He looks up and says, the break let me down. Well, he knows that Shane is probably going to make a ball in the break every single time, so. The 13, 6, and 7 are difficult. Mm -hmm. The 13 might actually go, and that's what he's looking at right now. Apparently it does, because he just lined it up and says, uh, I got a shot down there. And does he have any problem balls? That would be the problem, but apparently he just pointed out that uh, it is not a problem. Um, he may slide right over window. off the 11 ball right now. And take care of it now? Yeah, he's looking at it. It looks mm. like it's close. I like going with the 9, the 14, the uh, probably the 11 or the 15 and getting down there. He could play the 11 ball first and, and go down there, but I, I just. Thinking it through. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's the not the problem. That's the advantage Shane has is uh, that he's able and he does think it through and he executes it. But he doesn't he doesn't take his first shot till he sought out the whole rack. 11 ball in the corner pocket. Oh, he's, now he's shooting something else. He can't shoot the nine ball with his stick. <laughs> so obviously he was just trying to see, does he play the nine ball first or does he shoot the 11 ball first? 
He's looked at the 11 ball a handful of times yeah. now. It's a decision. If because the two wasn't there, he probably would have already shot the 11 ball. He's looking at the 11 ball again. He's not going to shoot this. Oh, he is going to shoot it. Oh, he yeah. is locked in there. And he didn't shoot it to get down there. He shot it so he can get position on his 12 ball to get up there. So he's going to take care of his problem balls first. I'm wondering if he's going to shoot the 10 ball next or come back up for that 13 right here. We'll see what he does. Or lay the cue ball on the bottom rail. Yeah, so he can slide and, up. And slide up for it, yeah. Short. No, he came up. He came he's up. got there. Yeah, he got he's there. He's got there. I think. He's there. No scowling. Can't see him. He's got his back to you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mirror, though. That's what I was looking at, trying to see it. I can see there's actually a couple mirrors I can look at it. Right. Okay. Now, can he get on this 10 ball from here? Seven ball looms large. I don't think so. And he doesn't either. So he went up table. I think he wanted to become off that cushion. But he's yep. not going to complain. He'll probably use the 15 ball to get on the on the 10, and then the 10 to get on the 8. But here we go. You know, it is Shane, so he'll. And if he's going to do that, he wants the well, he wants the cue ball where it's at. So he shoot this now, yeah, more than likely, or there. he's just looking at where he wants to be. Yeah? Feels like he, he, from here, looks like maybe more back up that cue ball towards the floor ball. Yeah, he wants more. it up higher because this is this is this would be a steep angle to hold the cue ball on the on the bottom okay. rail. If he just goes straight across the table, I, it looks like he'll be in play for mm -hmm. that that all 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 that way. Sure. There we go. Okay. And you get on the wrong side. Yeah, it looks like he's correct. Oh, he's perfect. Just slide there, not hit the two. The tangent line should get him just past there, and I think he wants to put this cue ball right on the end rail. Yeah, the problem is oh, there's, a like pocket, there's a pocket there. His tangent line that, that, that goes by the two goes to the corner. So he's going to have to draw away from it a little bit. Like that, and it goes just a hair. all the way down. He wants it all the way down. Uh, does he have an angle to just stun it out? It, it looks it. If he doesn't, he can draw back and play the eight ball in the uh, other side pocket. No problem there. Not a ball was bumped. I was about to say um, that for as tight as that. Beach to it. As for as tight as that, uh, those balls were there, not a ball was bumped. It was a clean, clean pattern. Extremely clean. And Shane does that, I think, better than anyone I've seen. Do nothing. And the break. I was reading a couple of threads on a on a forum and uh, asking for, for on, the, uh, on the internet on the internet asking for um, uh, a big set from these two. I'd like to see it. And there's some people say that uh, Kachi's got it, and there's people saying no way, I want to see it. And um, what I've seen this week here, uh, Shane's the number one player. He won the 10 ball, and look at him now. We've seen him on this stream already. Now, early in that in that 10 ball tournament, uh, Shane uh, did not look like he did in the finals or the match before that. But by the time he was in the finals, by the time he was in the finals, my lord, he looked he looked totally unbeatable. Well, are there any balls left on the table? Any balls you just yeah. make? They're still falling. Do you hear them? <laughs> yes. Yeah, his match against Alex, he just looked. He looked, he looked super good, super focused. Um, Five balls on the good. break. Five balls on the break. 
And his opening shots are, well, as long as he has one opening shot, he seems to find his way to get right. all the others. Looks like the high balls. There's four stri stripes left on the table and five solids. Yeah. The 13 ball goes with position four. He's taken, so he's taken stripes. In fact, the only reason why it's taken him so long for the first shot is because he actually has a shot on the six ball and the 13 ball. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of them was tied up. He actually has a shot in both. Yeah, but he needs a home for this ball right here. Yeah. The one up by the side pocket by his cue. That's the one he uh, has to come up for. Does he want to do it now or later? Now he's looking at the six. They all go. He wants to play a perfect pattern here. I think a lot of players, especially uh, professional players that are, have great shooting ability, would have already shot a ball and see what they see how they can solve from there. No, he was. He just moved till he exactly till he has it right. all. Exactly he just moved right. till he has it all. See, his choices right now is: Do I shoot the 12 ball next, and then come down for the for the 14, and then up for the nine, which makes it tough to get down for the eight if I don't get the right the right angle, or do I take the the solids and um, and run around them? This gets him to the nine right away, and from the nine, he has to get back to that position. So I don't think he'll shoot those first. I think he shoots shoots 13. either solids or he shoots the 13 first. Well, he's taking the solids. Oh boy. The nine the ball presents a problem for the stripes. Right. And the and the this fourteen presents the problem for the solids. Because the eight ball only goes over here. I think you play the thirteen and play for this nine ball right now. And he gets straight in on the twelve for the other corner pocket. Oh, he's going to get a straight in for the 12 for the other corner pocket. That means he's 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 betting. He's, he's betting the game. He's on betting the game the on ball. getting on the 14 ball. So I think he's going for the nine ball next. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. No. No, he's going to come up this way and play the nine ball in the lower yeah. lower corner. Now, do you think he's going to go to the left of the nine or the the other side of the four ball? Because uh, the uh, he, he, he just gave it away, and he's going to the right side of the four by pointing where he did with the cue ball. He's going to hit the four, but he's going to get away with it. Did he? Uh, yeah, because now he Not can still see this ball, and the cue ball floats down. <laughs> can he hold it? Uh, I think he can. I think he can. This is, ooh, that's so tight by the three. I tell you, though, he did sigh, and you normally... You don't hear uh, Shane doing that. I think there's a little pressure on him, actually, because, like I said, you know, this Kachi is the future. A lot of people say it. I'm sure he knows people say it. Well, maybe he wants to keep him in his chair. And I would yeah, at I would this too. point. He's back cutting back it. Back cutting it, back and forth. And he's going to go two rails for shape on the eight in the same pocket. No. Yep. That side, pot, that, that side pocket is uh, dangerous. Surely he's got to be lower than that. Might drop. Oh boy. Might not. Might not. Left the hanger. Yeah, and he left position on the only ball that would probably give him any problems. Mm -hmm. Key ball, the five. Uh, yeah, the five. It has to be the five because the five doesn't go right now. Mm -hmm. And the five he can get to the middle of the table, he can uh, stun over for the eight. Now see, this is no fair. To be able to reach this ball <laughs> yeah, right. is just Cause, cause no fair. Because this might be the, you know, right in yeah. that area is the longest reach for a right-hander. Sure. Now the 
three, the four, the five, and the eight. You won't come too far. Don't get too straight. He is pretty straight. <clears throat> He's coming back. He wants to be on the same line that, no, he doesn't want to be on this line. He wants to be more to the right so he can stun over. Correct. Or <coughs> use go the rail past and it, come go over, it, go yeah. past it and, and use the rail to come over. Either way, he's got to get the cue ball to the high side of the table as you see it now. <coughs> Putting some zippity doo -dah on this ball. Did he put too much? He's perfect. <clears throat> Wait a second. He's got to rethink this because he's going to hit this harder than he wanted to. He doesn't want to run into the eight. No, definitely not. Yeah, and if when he follows this ball, the path is right into in the that eight, direction. So. Yeah. And if he puts outside on it, it'll check it, up. It'll check up and might, won't go as far. Oh, he might go underneath the eight. If he goes underneath, you'll see some head shaking. Yeah, a little head shaking there. I mean, that's just weird. How was the shot? It had to be the shot, but it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That was pretty and necessary. He got a game back. Um, he got that mini break. Got the mini break back. Shane made five balls in the break and really had that problem with that nine ball all yeah, along. The whole time. I mean, from, from the get-go, it was a problem. Uh, I would have shot it in the side before I back-cutted it. Back-cut it. Yeah. And gone up and down. It was pretty clean up and down. But then again, from the booth, I can do anything and everything. <laughs> So you have to weigh your options once you're out there. And hindsight is 2020. Well, Clint, he did not make a ball in the break last time, and he wants to make sure no. he makes one this time. And right after the break, when he didn't make, he just looked straight up in the air like, oh, what did I just do? Go figure. Broke from the end rail, just a little to the right as he views the table. Let's see if he changes. See if he remembers that he didn't make a ball. Yeah, I'm going to say he doesn't change. He's pretty set in what he does, and he figures he, oh. He goes right to the right to, right to the head string. He does change, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now he wants a pop break instead of a flat break. Ah, he used the cue ball to make the pocket bigger and made the six <laughs> ball in the, in the side. Wow. Well, pretty wide open here. Five balls. Does the eight uh, ball pass the five? It looks yes, like it, it does. does. So he's fine. No He'll probably take he stripes. keeps he's staring at the low ball, but surely he's going to take the high balls. I think he takes eight. stripes. Yeah. Well, I say sure, yeah, because of the one ball, mm -hmm. right? If the, but if the one ball passes, everything else passes, so... I think he takes, um, he starts out with with uh, the nine ball, 13, the 11, and then the two balls over by the eight ball and position in the same place for the eight. And then again, everything I just said is null and void if he chooses a solid. <laughs> I think that he's got to play, well, yeah, really, either one is, is good. The five ball goes, and if the one ball passes. Mm -hmm. Either either set is good. And, you know, he made one of each on the break, so there's no, no advantage to take one or the other. He's going with the 11 first. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 
Is he there or did he come up too straight? And, and, and actually, he just took care of a ball that I did not consider in my pattern. Mm -hmm. I didn't even look at the, the 15 ball. He's got an angle here, so mm. he goes straight forward and out, probably to the nine ball. He might even just take these two balls on the bottom and then go up for the for the 13 ball and As come two rails. Yeah, it'd run right through it to yep. it. Yep, it sure does. Either way, he has a big landing area for the 13. We'll tell which way he goes with the cue ball. Yeah, it doesn't matter to him from there. Now, a lot of players go two rails forward here. I think he's going to be coming back if he shoots that ball. I think so. I mean, he had to really spin it to get it past the, uh, and, and flirt with the left, uh, flirt with the one ball well, to get the right angle. So I think this is the right way. Go mm -hmm. all the way to the rail, I think. Mm -hmm. Watch Side it. Side pocket. Well, the reason not to go two rails, he's going to leave himself too much angle. And he won't be able to hold, on the, on, uh, hold it there. Yeah, but surely this isn't what he wanted. He either has to back up or cut a ball or he's going the wrong way. Well, either he draws it back or he plays that short rail shape to the side, which he won't do. He'll come back. How far will he come back? Where he is now? Uh, no, he's going to no, shoot the 10 first and come no, over. he's going to come over yeah. back. See, that's why it's that they, he got in the wrong side, so he's got to do something here. The only thing you can do wrong is draw it in the side pocket. And now he's got to play a three railer. He looked over there. Can he actually just cut this ball in and then just pop back out to the center of the table? He could. It's a tougher shot than the three railer. This is bread and butter for all these guys. Right. Over, oh, he made it. Looked like they overcut that ball. Cut the outside face. Doesn't matter how they go in, as long as they go in. Yeah. Okay, break and run. Catches back up. It's two to two. We got a ball game. We had a ball game when it started. It just didn't look like one for a second. Shane got some hits in early and. Uh, Gotcha, got a man on base and uh, <laughs> got his own hit. Brought in a run. All right. Should we say we're going to watch a master craftsman at work? <laughs> Well, he needs to keep his break going well if he's going to run yes. through this uh, this field because last year, as good as his break was, it did fade away at the end. Well, it did, it cost the Hill Hill game cost him. And actually, it was a good break, and he got kissed into a pocket. And no, no balls even scared. I don't, it, it almost felt like a ball didn't even hit a cushion. He went from making five balls in the break to making no balls in the break. So tight Clint spread. I mean, yeah. Clenty's nickname is Clenty, right? Yeah, Eclant's nickname is Clenty. Okay. <laughs> Clenty's nickname is Clenty. <laughs> Eclant's nickname is Clenty. Thank you. What about the Albanian assassin? Well, you know, you I think we can't need give some them bad names like that. No, there's enough people with assassin. You know, oh, okay. the silent assassin, the Alaskan assassin, silent but deadly. Uh, no, that's, that's something not, else. That's something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Albanian <laughs> Express. Uh, you know. Okay, so don't, we, do, we don't want to go there. I don't know what Albania is known for, so we need to find out, get a good nickname going, because Clenty, be the, being the nickname of Eklent, that's great for your, uh, that's great for your hometown friends, but 
We need something else for the uh, U.S. folks here. Uh, I think we'll just let them go with plenty as well. Okay. Okay. That, that's right. nice and clean and, and uh, elegant. Look at this where he's played this ball. This is like, this is, I can play this because I'm tall. Like, I could never play that there. Yeah, you could. <laughs> and then the next shot, I'd be swearing. No, you have to learn how to use a bridge. <laughs> Uh, six, six balls next. Don't get straight in on it. He knows that. And what does he do? He's all right. <clears throat> if he clears this, he will take the lead and will be breaking. I like the way um, uh, a lot of the players will shoot this shot, hit the rail, and come straight off of it. Because going forward, he could, you know, on some rails, it just Explode. slides. It slides. I think he's still going to go two rails. Two rails to the, well, there's a bunch of balls to the center mm -hmm. of the table. Mm -hmm. It has been going fast off these bottom rails, so top rails. So. I think Keep going. Don't go over a ball there. He's, he's fine. Two ball. Two ball, and if it's straight in, he can stop it right there. It's not straight in. He's got a little angle, so he'll come down for down. the three, then up for the, the for the one and the five. This one go by the three. Keeps looking at it. Keeps looking at it. It's tight. That, thank you. And the great, great view. It does go by the three. But I still like this better. It feels like he's going to slide this. Stunt. Uh, he's going to go up and down. Okay. It's fine. He used stoppers to, keep, to hold the angle to get up there. He might. Oh, I wouldn't do this. I was going to say, he might slide up to the one ball and shoot it in the side, but I wouldn't do it. I would shoot it in the corner, slide up and shoot it in the corner, or get on the five and shoot the five, the one in the side. He agrees, as do I. Really, he's no problem here, right? No, he stops this ball dead, and then when he shoots the five, he brings it up a little bit for the eight ball in the bottom right. Gives himself that little angle to come up, just with a little bit of a draw. Oh, actually, he's going to go to the rail, I think. I think so. Not much I saw that. I thought he was straighter than that, a little straighter. And when he make, puts this in, he's going to take the lead. I like this gentleman's game. It's definitely, it's got a big break. I've, I've been playing control. Pool. I've been playing pool for 50 years, and uh, I tell you, when I played it in Phoenix, he broke around the first two racks. I loved this game. I just looked <laughs> at it and said, "You know something? I'm going to lose here, but uh, I'm going to get beat here. <laughs> I'm not going to lose. I'm going to get beat here." 19 years old, this yeah. young man is. He's already won uh, eight ball event. Darren Appleton's eight ball event. He's the Albanian snooker champion. I think he played some Chinese eight ball too. He obviously can play 10 ball. He's ran an eight pack just last week. Was he, was, was he playing pool when he was crawling? Was he crawling on top of the pool I table? Tell you. <laughs> he was, in fact, he tells me that he started playing pool when he was eight years old and that he's been a pool player since he was eight. Didn't start anything with snooker until just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Pool player. Pool players can become snooker players. Of course they can. Of course they can. Why couldn't they?
I used to love to play on a snooker table. I used to love to play snooker golf. <laughs> Played it a lot from about I think the 79 snook, to the 89. The snooker players wouldn't consider that snooker, but. Well, that's true. But it was on a snooker table. <laughs> Plenty had moved over to the break on the head string, and he's there again. Good, good success last time. What's interesting is finger, his ring finger was up in the air. It wasn't tucked. Yeah, it wasn't tucked, and it wasn't, it wasn't touching the table. And balls are flying in. But he only has the 10 ball for a shot. Well, that's and pretty it's not a really easy one either. That's pretty unlucky there because he can see three balls, but he really can't shoot at any one of them. <laughs> I think if this were Mitch Ellerman, he would have already banked this 11 ball. I'm watching. I'm watching Shane's face and see where he's looking. <laughs> he is. He is weighing his opponent the way a poker player would. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there thinking to himself, "What are you going to do here, what are you young gonna man?" What are you going to do? Do you think he's, he's going to fire this 10 ball in? He doesn't have any other shot, and he's, he, he's not here to play safe. <laughs> That's right. I like it. And actually, it comes around and it gets on the 15 ball, three rails. Tough shot. It's a tough shot. Oh, he's, he's going to bank it. He's banking. Which is still gives him shape on the 15. And then why wouldn't he bank the 11 if he's going to bank one of these balls? Can he not Where's see he going to bank the 11 to? That doesn't go cross side? No, it doesn't. Oh, cross side, yeah. Because yeah, he's going to corner. He's going to cross a corner, uh, cross side this he's time. He's going to cross side this. And it'll go, the cue ball go to the head rail. And down towards uh, the four ball, I believe. Missed One it. ball. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. I saw, uh, when it came off that rail, I saw he was short. Yeah, and the figure, if he hit the one ball, it had no chance of going in, but it caught, just barely caught the one and went right in the center of the pocket. Mm hmm. So now the tough shot becomes the uh, 13 as the tough ball. Yeah, as long as he gets his cue ball over by the six, it ain't so tough. But you're right, it's, uh, and he's got the nine ball to get over there with. Um, Here he goes. And he could actually go for that right now. It's too much of a cut maybe, huh? I thought so. He has so. to check it. It looks like he's going to draw that ball, and he has to draw it. I don't know that he can hold it there to put enough English to keep it from hitting the 9 and then uh, or the 13 and then get in shape there. It's a little tough. Yeah, it's a steep angle. It's pretty steep. Okay. Maybe the 15 and draw back. Going the wrong way. Um, where is he going? He's going to move the 13. Move the 13 instead. He doesn't, does he not like that or he's just looking at it? I don't know. Maybe he likes the angle on the 11 though. Ah. Uh, well, the angle on the 11 could stick him behind the 8, in which case he won't like it at all. <laughs> he's going to have to come. Uh, at least two feet off that rail, and that one ball could hinder. He clips that one ball, he's not going to be happy. Executed that look very at, well. Look at the angle he Our got perfect. to get on this ball. He's got the perfect angle now to come over for the 13. He just developed it. But he's got to have to move the eight ball. Maybe not. Maybe he plays the eight ball up table, but he might. How's he going to get there? 
He may just he go moves it right here. Balls right here. He moves it right here. Don't hit the two and get behind <laughs> the eight. That's very possible. And he also could run by the eight and not have a shot. Not have a shot. Of, yeah. I think that he has, he's about 100% to go right between the eight and the two. <laughs> Do you think I jinxed him on that one? And if he does, he's fine. If he hits it right in the middle, he's good because it opens him up. Exactly. And the cue ball stops. That's what I'm That's what he wants to do, I think. Yes, I agree. Don't go right you called between it. them. <laughs> you called it. Freddie calls it. Pretty good out. Well done. Lead. Four games to two. And a deserved round of applause. He owns a uh, break of serve there. And if he keeps on breaking like that, and actually on that break, he, he did make one ball, a ball, the, the corner ball that goes flying around. And uh, he made a luck. He got a little fortunate. Well, on he, the banked, bank. he banked the ball to the side pocket. It, it was coming short, but the one ball was in the right place. Yeah, and yet and that, he, uh, that the one ball actually. I wouldn't have right thought that the one ball made that uh, that pocket much smaller, and he actually kissed the one ball any thicker on that one ball. How no else chance. would you have played it? <laughs> <laughs> How else do you play that ball? Play it off the one, of course. The sooner we can get shape. Um, there's a little bit of fortune. In that, uh, in that shot that got him the game. Either way, he's got a two-game lead. He's got that mini break. Dead squat. Ball is in the corner. And just the cue ball was in dead squat yes. and it, got it, kicked it's late. It's okay. It was... Uh, well, what does he? What does he have? He's got a two. Whatever that ball was. Combo. Combination. On this and table. that's about all he has. Unless he wants to cut the six down the rail. Or bank the 14. Bank or cut? I can't tell if he can cut it. I just glanced at it and then he stepped in my way. Does he know <laughs> I'm looking? He banked the 14. He's not cutting that ball. Huh? I yeah, think no, he's so. going to cut the six ball. It's uh, pretty, Yeah. you know, why not? I think the six ball is easier to cut than the than the two thirty. I don't know. It's lined up pretty nice. And you got to buy Well, um, He's looking at the five. Will he shoot a ball that's two feet away from him, or will he shoot a ball, ball that's eight feet away? Six in the corner. And he may catch this off the, uh, off the cushion and go into the three ball. That, that could be missed. Very, very easily could be missed. There's one line between the three and the point mm -hmm. that doesn't allow this cue ball, uh, six ball to go in. But you're right. He's going with that. I, He's in the pocket. And now? Now the two ball becomes a problem. Yes, it does. He's over the ball here, so maybe he gets to this, the seven ball now. Uh, I think he's going for the three. No, I mean, it's just after this three ball, he's going for the seven. Oh, when I say oh, he's going, gotcha. for, going for the seven ball now, it means okay. he's going for the seven ball when he's playing this three ball. You know, going for the seven ball right there on that shot wouldn't have been out of the question if he if he would, if he had trouble queuing over the ten. Yeah, but he needed the uh, the seven ball so he can have a shot at getting the the two ball, either following forward and out, or drawing back, or even just stopping the ball. But is he playing short rail shape on this two ball? I think so. I think so. Unless the four ball, uh, that two ball goes, and this is no good. Oh boy, another mistake by Shane. Wow. Uh, does the four pass the 12? I don't think it does. And then my next question would be, if the four does not pass the 12, can he bank the two ball past the 13 in the side? It doesn't look it from here. Oh. 
Actually, it does help to move on the screen. <laughs> Why did it go if, you, if I move my head? <laughs> no, I moved. On, I moved, and I could. I could, I could see, see it better. better. Yeah, <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> well, I, uh, Shane is up against. He's it got a shot in the five. Sure, he's got a shot in the five. The two ball, though, he buried. Uh, when we get a look at that two ball again, we'll get to see. You see his, uh, oh boy, there's a look on the two ball, and it doesn't look any better than it did a little bit ago. No matter what. No matter what. Does it go in the side pocket where you can play short rail shape for it? Yeah, if he can fit over there in the six inches yeah. of space. He's got a six, uh, uh, four inch landing pad. Well, here he goes. He's going to play this five ball and cozy it up for the four ball in the side pocket. And he's got to get the perfect angle to run down for the two ball. Right, either to go behind yeah. it or to develop it. Well, I'll tell you right now, this guy controls his cue ball so well that if somebody can do it, this man can. He's and gonna he's hit this gone. over too far. He's done. Does he <laughs> right there. So he's gonna be kicking he at it. He may be able to bank this ball, I'm telling you. That's pretty surprising. But if he can do it Oh boy, there's doesn't seem he's to gonna be. have to bang past the point. Uh, you know, the, uh, the actual angle and hold it up. So it's going to be pretty hard. It's going to close the angle. So how does he get shape? Yeah, see? Yeah. He, he had to pa go past that and hold it up. And wide open. Clenty can, uh, Clint can uh, come up with another game here. Oh, when Clenty and runs then this rack, which he is going to run. He is. He has a commanding lead. I'm sorry, but if I'm playing Shane Van Boning and I had the skills that Eklent has, I would never feel comfortable with a commanding lead. <laughs> no commanding lead. No. I would do what I could to keep that man in the chair because he can't hurt me there. Well, unfortunately for Eklent, this is an alternating break. He can't keep him in the chair, but... He wants to score every single time that he's up at the table. But it limits his success. It can only be one rack at a time, because I get to come up the next one. Coming back just a hair. Forward and back in. Figured he was playing the 15 ball next. He'll play the 10 ball last. Yeah, the 10 ball sits well to be a key ball. Got a little straight on this 15, so he can't just um, draw it back. The ball is big. Mm -hmm. Well, he's not drawing it back too far. He wants to be, if he, would, if he could put it back where it is right now, he'd be happy. Because he's, uh, he's got the 13 in the side and the nine in the corner. The He's going towards, he needs towards the eight ball. Yeah. Oh, back and forth. Right there. He's happy with this. Uh, I don't know why he's on the wrong side of this 13. He'll leave the he'll leave the cue ball where the 13 is for the nine. Unless, of course, he chooses to shoot the 10 ball now. I, I think he has to. I, I don't think this position on the 13 is good like you, you might be thinking. Mm -hmm. You think he's got too much angle? Too much angle. It's a All thin right. ball to get there. So now the 13 can be a, his key ball. If the 8 ball, the 8 ball doesn't have any problem there, does it? Nine go as he shoots that. Sure. Oh, I'm not sure that it does. And, and, and you can no, see how tight it is, yeah. I, he can shoot the 13 and get on the nine. It goes. It goes. Looks like he goes without looking down on it. It goes. Well, the four ball is absolutely huge. If he was planning to play a line to this 13. He'll go to the side rail and come over. And, he, and if he overhits it, he has it in the side. But he won't. He'll, he'll probably, he might just because to avoid the four or any problems. Yeah. Eight ball goes in both pockets, so he doesn't have to be straight in on this 13. 
Uh, he's just come over and over and uh, so I can, wow. Picture perfect. No except way. for being over the four. Over the four, but this doesn't seem to bother him. Well, why would it? He's six five. But he's he elevated, so anything can happen. It's going to be five to two in a second. Oh, that's good too. It's using the pocket, mm -hmm. using the full ball to stop this. Uh, hit that with authority. The crowd is going crazy. Guess who's breaking? He can extend this lead. He can extend it. I think he forgot to put the eight ball. There it is. <laughs> I was wondering. I saw that rack. Uh, <laughs> There's a list of our, pre our uh, predators. Our, uh, yeah, there's sponsors, a list of a predator right there sponsors. racking the balls. Our sponsors on the screen. We are at Grips Bar and Billiards here in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the U.S. Open Championships. This past week, we've seen two of them, the 10 ball and the 8 ball U.S. Opens coming up later in the fall or actually maybe even almost winter, um, we'll see the straight pool with more information coming up for that. Clint, you to break. Cyclop, Acme, Predator. And this is brought to you see by it. Q Sports International. See his ring finger, it's up in the air yeah. actually. It's tucked it's up in the air. Good break. There goes the ball. The ball is gone. There goes in. another one. Nope. Oh, I guess there goes a the ball he can shoot. He has his choice of sets, the stripes or the solids. He has opening shots for both. Very easy opening <laughs> shots for both. Feels like he uh, needs problems. to play the low balls. Problems, problems. Uh, because of the 14 12? Yeah. Other than that, everything's open? I think so. Mm hmm. The question is, he's taking a look to see if he can make the three ball there. It's mm -hmm. uh, hanging in the pocket, but there's only so much space to shoot it. I think he plays this one ball. I don't know if he's going to go rail first or if he can just he's pop it in. out of there. He's straight in. He is, it, it looks... Because uh, the two ball goes in the side. Is he elevated a little bit to draw it? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's got the two ball there. He's fine. Yeah, he's the two good. ball was right there. Yeah. Now it looks like he'll either follow or draw to the center-ish of the table, right like right to that 10 ball. Yeah, he's got to come, and he will draw the ball over there. If he gets behind the 10, he could be in trouble. Key word I used there was if. Hmm. See if he's got good control here. Really good. Doesn't get better than that. Now, and if he can make this ball and draw back a little bit, great. If not, he'll just kind of cozy it up and take, what's he, take what he can get on that five ball because it, uh, he could use the 11 as a bumper. He may not shoot this three ball first because it can be tricky. He's over the 10. And he's not going to have any better shot at it now. Um, he, he can develop one. This would. could be tricky. See his little angle there? He has to draw it into the 12 and not, uh, well, he's going to go around maybe. Well, that'd be a surprise. I think he's going to crawl this. Well, yeah, okay, that's what I thought, that he can play this uh -huh. five ball and the 11 ball as a bumper for him, so he can play position for the seven ball. Where's the 11 going? Just forward, right towards the two balls that he's playing shape on. Let's see what he does here. Maybe he can uh, just slide off it. 
you know, like draw it off it without moving it at all. Oh, nicely done. Speed was key there. Yes. A little faster and a little bit on top of this ball. Just punch yeah. this back yeah. a little bit. Nip draw. He didn't like his re the, the reaction of the cue ball there. No, no. But he's okay. He'll just come up past it and shoot in the corner. Or Something. come to the 11 and shoot it in the side. He'll just reach. He can <laughs> do what he wants. He reach over there. He has four pockets he can play it into. Wow, this is tougher than I thought it was. Straight up and down the table? I think he comes up. Yep. That's all right. Don't get on top of that ball. He's okay. Mm -hmm. Straight in. Six to two. Six to two. Two, two uh, breaks of serve. Since Shane gave him an up at the table and it got tied two to two, he's played perfect. Yeah. Shane he came up dry last time, didn't mm -hmm. he? Mm -hmm. And Shane missed a ball, too. That cost him a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the, two, the bank of the that two back, ball. That back cut. And, and, the, and yeah. the back cut and on the back that. Cut. Yeah. Going in the hole. Oh my goodness. Another dry break. Another dry break. And uh, and Shane is staring at the table in disbelief. You see him standing on the right hand right. side of your screen there, just what the heck? And he's the one racking. Yeah. few problem balls, the three ball for the solids, 15 ball for the stripes. Folks out there, are you excited yet? This is a good match. Mm. shot does he have here? Rail first on the 11. Straight in on the 6. Long and straight in. Shot on the 10. Well, he's going to shoot the 6, I guess. But, oh, with the 10, the, that's also a tough shot. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to do a lot of developing because none of these balls look any, any decent. Neither set look good. Well, 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 he's missed a ball. He's missed a ball. Shane is up, and now these because he's hung this ball, the 15 suddenly is not a difficult ball. He's already called the 10, but it feels like he should be playing the 11 first and then play the 10. And he is. Yeah, he wants to be where he just pointed so he can get on the 12 ball. That's a good shot. Because mm -hmm. he's now he's going to move the three. Can he afford to move the three and keep it there? Because what sure. happens up table? Up table, he can come down table. Uh, plus the 14 ball goes if the cue ball is on the rail. Um, it feels so like he wanted up. this ball 
tackle slightly different because now there's no ball to play. He's going to be playing forward to play for the nine ball, I think. And he He's not playing will. forward. He used the three to keep the 15 ball there. It'd be five. Yeah. So and the three ball did not block those balls down table. So if he goes no. to the nine ball next, he can come down table for the 13. Mm. He can play either ball down. Stop shot on the nine ball, I believe. Would you rather be playing the 14 next? Well, the 14 goes by the one, so he's probably playing the 13 ball next. And then um, come down. And then shoot the 14 in the upper corner and come down for the eight. Just draw back for the eight. There we go. Well, he got one revolution. I don't know if he actually wanted one revolution. Then he shouldn't have started his engine. But, ooh, yeah, he's going to play this ball. He doesn't want to be near that seven ball. Well, he can reach this ball. Yeah. And he can come over where the six is for the eight. Well, that looks tougher than than uh, from the other yeah, angle. Yeah, and it looks on the, on the other, yeah. Doesn't look too tough for him. <laughs> well, Shot it with well, just, just barely to perfection. Past that. Six to three. And Shane makes a statement says, you can keep me in my chair, but when I get up, I'm doing my thing. Doing my thing. Well, Shane needs help from Clenty, who is playing pretty good on his own, yeah. on his own break. He, he would like to see a Clint do the same thing he did twice. Yeah, a couple of dry breaks. Yep. You're seeing some excellent pattern play by both players. A cue ball control, decision making. Every aspect of the game is being displayed and I think it's being done very, very well at a high level. Well, would you expect anything less? <laughs> That's right. According to Fargo rate, you've got two of the top players. One is ranked one. The Number other one, one is ranked 13. Uh, what is Shane's rank in the WPA? Do you know? I, I don't, don't think it's very high because he doesn't play too many of those uh, ranking uh, events. Ranking events, yeah, so... But his his Fargo rate is higher than 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 anyone. So you would have to think that it if she should was be high there. if he was over there playing in those tournaments. And his success That's uh, the theory. Uh, was is as good as it has been here. Then, uh, but you know things like that can vary when you're playing amongst sharks. You're not the big fish you're not the you're not the big fish in the smaller pond when you go to the bigger pond there might be other big fish there's always a bigger fish <laughs> oh, i have to make up stories so i can you know while he's racking the balls <laughs> tell us a story freddie Who's our next guy to come into the uh, Hall of Fame that's going to get uh, voted in or, or or is going to be up for it? How's that? Well, I think this year, because, uh, you know, that to get in the Hall of Fame for the Billiard Congress of America, you have to be at least 40 years old. Mm -hmm. You have to have been playing uh, 15 years or so at least and have significant titles, especially in the United States. This is the Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame. And two guys that turned 40 uh, in this past year are Niels Fian and Charlie Williams. Okay. So uh, they're, they're going to be automatically up for it to see uh, if we will vote them in. Two contenders. Does someone have to submit them? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. but okay. it's, it's more of a case of uh, they got to be remembered. You can't be just some, some random guy that's 40 years old or else okay. uh, I would have been up for it. But I'd, and I'd be about as random a guy as possible. Your accomplishments would be? Oh, none. Zero. <laughs> yeah.
See, we can provide you with all kinds of information. <laughs> Freddie is a wealth of information. He's been teaching me math all week. All week. <laughs> <laughs> Six minus three is three right now. That's right. Clinty's break was not anywhere near as good. Look at this. It looks like he's made a, it looks like alphabet soup. I would say it looks like a J, maybe, or a giraffe. You're pretty creative. Hmm. Do you spend a lot of time looking at clouds and seeing what you find in them? Absolutely. Okay. Cutting the nine ball on the side, it looks like he was about to. The smash. This no, he's not going to. He won't This looks like the Hulk shot. He, the smash. He, I don't think he'd wanted to, want, he would want to hit those balls. He doesn't want to break those up with a nine. He hits that 13. He's not sure where his cue ball's going. And I'm not sure he can hit the 13. Smash. Smash. 5-10 combination, two rails around right into the pack. I could see him cutting the nine ball on the side and hitting the bottom rail with uh, left-hand English to come up and hit the 13. I can't see him running straight into it, though. No. Okay, it's Italy. Does that look like a boot? Yeah. Well, this is not one of those racks where they look like wide it's open. It's not wide open. <laughs> a great run here. It would be a great run here to be. A, it would be a fantastic run to be able to run out and only bump the problem balls. Yeah, if he got out here, it'll be on uh, Facebook. <laughs> who's taking viral. The, Who's taking the roles? There's no, there's no cameras allowed around the table. Well, eventually there should be. On, anyway, uh, excuse me. This will be on YouTube eventually, maybe, possibly. Of course, it will. Anybody Here we go. Can, he no, has no. Okay. Can he pass it back? He's been <laughs> Not an a ball. He's been agonizing over this, and I don't think he has one single. Uh, he could shoot a, the five ten a, combo a option. Oh, he's playing. He's playing the nine ball straight in the corner, not in the side. See, I didn't think he was trying to break those balls. He decided to play a safe in the middle of the table. Well, it's, he's given it's, it's an odd one, isn't it? But the way the break, you know, let's, let's, let, what, give me your thoughts on this one. Well, I, uh, let's see what Shane has. Shane has a bank on the one ball. He could look up, and he possibly, possibly has a 5-12 uh, combo. I don't know if we can get, like a, a, get like a view the, of that. I like the smirk. <laughs> it's almost like uh, Clenty pushed out. Uh-huh. Isn't that it's similar, right? Yeah, but he can't give it back. He can't he's give it back. Shoot. He can't give it back. That's true. Uh, Suddenly, he it's can a play. He can play the six ball. Yeah, but this three ball but see, is the, all that that's just right. garbage up there. Uh, that's the one by the two stripes on the upper right is the five, and the three is in the middle by the eleven. Um, what happened to smash? He can play the six ball and nibble the thirteen, which yeah. opens those up. Playing the time. Not guaranteed a shot. Or what of this ball up the there? The combo. Ten ball. Combination. Every, yeah, ball, I, I, every ball will move. Yeah. Here we go. Well, it opens it up, and, and the stripes are the better, the better uh, set. Yeah, I thought it was interesting because I was, I was saying that it didn't look like Clinty had an actual plan after all that talking, and he really didn't, well, such that the best he could do was just leave the cue ball pretty much there without fouling and asking Shane to, mm -hmm. to well, what would he do? <laughs> Clint had, a, had the same shot and Effort he chose shot. not to Effort shoot it. shot right here. Look how oh, well he beautiful. broke that. Beautiful. And, and shape on the 9, then the 11, then the 12, and then the 8. It actually looks like the 12 goes in the side pocket, which if it does, he can get out here. It goes in, I think it goes in the, in the corner. corner too. Yeah, that's there what I'm saying. The 11, the 12, yeah, if he gets it there. First things first, 13 in the corner pocket. And there is an eyeball down there. And there he is for the nine. So he'll stare this down as Easy. long as he gets to a position that he doesn't touch the yeah. three ball. Yep. It looks good. 
Do you just go one rail up, or do you try to... No, I guess it's just one, one rail, rail up, because yeah. he's so sharp on Straight this ball. Up. He could go two rails, because the, the angle's there for it. And uh, this way, he's sure not to overrun it. There we go. Because if he overruns it, he could get in trouble. He's making sure that 12 ball goes by the four ball and that and that he can hit all of the 12 that he needs to. It's tight. He's, he's taking his time on this because I think that's where his problem is. <laughs> this whole thing is a problem. Well, yeah. Yeah, he can play this or he can go run up table and play the 11 ball in the corner, bottom left corner. He can also come off the nine and go right into the 412. And just hope for it. And yeah, then he's hoping for a shot. Well, he's looking at that right now. What yeah. if I run right into this? Can he play the 12 off the three ball into the side pocket? If he catches the two balls together, it's probably where it goes, but the, the 12 ball could go up against the eight. Because, you know, that 12 ball doesn't really go back and forth, does it? Nebraska does. I don't know. He's he using, may not. He's using right hand English. Looks like he's going right into them. Well, he's got the 11. He's got the 11 to the corner. But I guess the four ball doesn't go. Yeah, he's agonizing over it. He wants it, but he can't get to it. Does it go to the other side pocket? Well, it did, but the 12 ball is sort of in the way. Does it go past the three? Because he could draw this ball underneath the eight and, and, and get back there. Well, he's got to take a look because I think it does. Mm -hmm. And then one of the problems is he's just put that six ball oh. up table, so now he doesn't have much room to go on that it, one. As I look at this 11 ball, I'm not sure he can draw the ball back to get on that 12 ball for that side pocket. Yeah, if he does, he's got to go to the rail and out, I think. Well, no, definitely. And I think he draws and he hits where the eight ball is. 12 he's dead. <laughs> I think he wants to see if he can play the 12 on the side right now. Oh, so I guess it does go in the corner because he's going to put the he's going to put the cue ball right next to the eleven. Yeah, yeah, one of the problems is they put that six ball up up there, so he can't shoot below, play for below the twelve. I now, think he's at this perfectly. You can't get better than ball in hand, than with ball in hand here, straight back. And what do you do with the eight? Oh, the eight ball in the ball. The three ball is going to stop him from going up where he wants to go. I th no, 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 never mind. I take that back. He'll get up. He'll get up there. It's uh, it's the six ball that's really the issue here. Yeah, getting behind it. Yeah. Beautiful wow. shot. This was a run out for the ages right there. That was pin point. Extremely well done. That was a phenomenal out. That was rather Shane-esque. Shane-esque, and he put a lot of effort to get yeah. in the pinpoint position. Well, now Shane needs to make a ball in the break because he hasn't in the last two. Something has happened because Clenty's break did not break out at all like the weather changed. <laughs> I think we've discussed this, and I've said a couple of times, sometimes the table knows who's winning and it <laughs> wants to even things out. So I'm going to go with the weather. The weather? <laughs> and you're going to go with the table knows. The table knows. <laughs> in there, a table has, well, you know, Tables break different. They, they do different things. They play different. Um, yet it's all the same equipment. So the table knows. Shane hit them harder that time. And guess what? Nothing. Nothing again. And, and look at this. Look at the spread. He should have changed. You know, you don't. You can't question the best breaker in the world. But he. That's three dry breaks in a row. He's doing what he can do, he's, and he's doing it well. Yeah. And it's not, it's not happening, so the table knows. The table knows? Yes, I'm going to go with that one. Uh, okay. I can't disagree. The table <laughs> knew that time. <laughs> well, if we want to invent an issue here, if the you play ball. the low balls, the eight ball is an issue. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. If you play the high balls, you've got to 
shoot a tough shot to begin with, and the 14 may not go. Yeah, no. the, the 12 ball is pretty simple. So is the 13. Well, I guess that the 14 is the is the challenge there to get mm -hmm. on the yes. The shot go by the one. He likes the stripes. He's winding up on the stripes. I don't think he can break this 14 out. Maybe he can. Right now. But he's not going to. But well, the 14 does go. It goes by the one. Where are you going? Okay. I'll the next ball, the 15. <laughs> okay. Well, I th we actually might be able to see right on the table whether or not that 14 goes. It must because that's the way he played, but it still, 14, no matter how many times I look at it, it looks pretty tight. If it doesn't, it'll go off the one. It's not going to be very long. We're going to find out. <laughs> right. Well, he's got to play shape on the 13 ball next. And then the 10. And then the 9. And then the 11. Interesting here because uh, it looks like because of the angle he may have to go up table earlier for this ten ball than later. Now would be a good time. Yeah, but the eleven ball is a tough ball, so stop it on the nine. Stop right. the cue ball on the nine. All right, so he's got to go up table right and then the nine mm -hmm. and then the tough ball, hmm. which is why it made it interesting. If he stops it there, he, he can drop down just a hair use the side rail and come up to about where he is. A little straighter, of course, for the eight. Yeah, he can actually stop the nine ball if he wants to here. Yeah. A couple of draw shots. And then and then have to play over for the ten. But he's going to take the key yeah. ball out first, and then uh, hopefully he can get back to the eight ball. The eight ball, I guess, goes in the side pocket. Well, looks like it goes right in the side pocket. Yeah. He is holding the work out. Yeah. Stop, stop. No, stop. He's, yeah, he's in the way. He's, he might come forward, come forward, I think just a hair. If he could replace the nine ball, he will. Is he going to come back? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't either. Eight ball goes in the side. Yeah. It's a small pocket. Yes, it is. He shoots very, very accurately. So very accurate. He's very accurate with his. Oh, yeah. He From this he'll shoot on the side. He'll stop it there. Yep. That was a good view of the side, but I thought maybe it was a little harder than that. It's still hard. It's still hard. Yeah. It's, it's not a five-inch pocket. I mean, look how small it looks there. Two inches. And you're playing in the U.S. Open. You know how much smaller it looks when you're playing. <laughs> He's on the hill. He's on the hill, and he's broken ran. Uh, well, no, he didn't bring run the last one, did he? he? No. And uh, this was a break for uh, by, by Shane. Shane needs another odd favor. Break. Yeah, he needs another favor. He's got to remind the table who's winning. He needs to, to remind the table to get who, his he, up. who he is. Yeah. Maybe the table's mad at him. Clean, massaging, and he says, removing. Get it, get it. He says I use a different one because this different doesn't, doesn't seem point. to be, doesn't seem to be working for me. Maybe that was the problem that Jeff DeLuna was having when he was having problems. Maybe. Tracking.
Doesn't get better than this, folks. Are we going to see the same thing we saw in the U.S. Open 10 ball? A big comeback? Uh, oh. Uh, Shane losing his third match, although this is the fourth one, and then coming back. Maybe. To, to get in the finals. Are we going to see a good comeback from Shane? Seven to four. four. It would be a great comeback from Shane. Plenty is on the hill. Not missing much. He's missed one ball that I can recall. One ball uh, indeed. Ten ball pocket. in the corner pocket. Uh -huh. And then he played one safety. Came up dry on the break, I believe, once. Mm -hmm. Those are your three times that he left the table without making it. He left the table unwillingly. Yeah. <laughs> and the safety he played was not a good safety, but he left the table that was completely buried, and somehow Shane figured out a yeah. way to get out. Again, not a great looking break. Isn't that odd? That two breaks in a row, he made a ball, but the breaks look very bad. And the five, six uh, don't appear to be lined up for the corner, so that's out. Yeah, he's playing high balls here. He's got, I believe he's gonna, if he can hold for the shape. 14, yeah. then he will, because he can play the 10 ball and just bump the 12. Well, if he can hold the 14, he can play the 13, the and 11, then, and, and, then then come down. and then come down for the 14. Same idea. Yeah, same, same angle you're talking you're about. Right, exactly. Right. Yep, right there. <laughs> right there. How do I get there? I don't see why he couldn't stop it from this angle. The other angle looked like he had more more, more angles. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the, ca the, the other, other camera, camera angle. angle. Yes. Looked like he had more. And now here he just basically pockets the 10, bumps the 12 ball down just a hair, stays there for the nine. Then shoots the 12, takes care of business up on top and comes back for the eight. Simple as that. Is it that simple? It feels like he's got to actually play position for the same ball he's bumping out. I can't tell how high this ball is going to hit it. And all he has to do is just move it past the seven ball. He has to move the 12 ball past the seven. see here he can make this ball but now he's uh, he's got to come up table mm -hmm. and come back down the table well 13 gets him there so does the 11 and he actually has a shot here uh the problem is the four he could bump the four and be in trouble yeah. but actually rather go if he around bumps the, 14. the four i mean he'd rather go around the four exactly but then he's got to scare the side pocket just a little bit of a challenge He just bump the four coming off the cushion. If he bumps it, it's like, yeah. It, it, if he bumps it, it slides the ball up towards those two balls anyway. As long as he hits the right side of it, it should be okay. So, I'm not sure that he's trying to hit it. I don't think he is. You want to do this clean? I think he's going to get in bad position here the way he's aiming. No, he's there. Um, he's there. If that's bad position. Well, I knew he was coming up on the wrong side of the yeah, ball no, and the, out of position for quite a distance, but. Good speed. Well, he went two rails. I thought he was going to go one yeah. up there. Yeah. And that's, that, that's uh, he, he actually yeah, uh, adjusted to his plan instead of ours or mine. <laughs> the four ball still presents a problem. See how much inside English he's you got to put in there. All right. He's got to come down 
past the four ball, so that four ball. Does he draw this ball? Two rails around? Yeah. How else can he get there? Yeah, that doesn't. Oh, the, can the, he come the, straight by the four? Well, I thought that's the direction he was going, but yeah. he put so much inside English on there that he doesn't have a big angle anymore. I don't actually see a good one unless he smashes it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to reach here to get the ball down. He didn't get. Uh, he, I think he. I think he would like a steeper angle. It seems it. But if, I, if he uses left hand English and pounds it, I think. I think he can draw this ball. Two rails. But then again, looking at it from here, it looks like he has enough angle to come straight down towards the four. Yeah, it all depends on which way. Yeah. See, from right there, he doesn't appear to have that much angle. And that's a, that's where he's going. But if this oh, now he's drawn. Crowd's gonna go crazy if he gets there. He's absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Unless he gets straight. And he, he is. did get straight. Now he's coming back and playing the eight in the side. I don't think he'll move up and play between that window between the three five. And I don't think he can get up to the side pocket to play it in the lower corner pocket. So he's coming back. Has he got the right angle or is he off the off angle that puts him in the, right in the center of the pocket? He's got the angle that's going to get him right back to where he's at right now. Okay. And for the match, he'll be glad to shoot that eight ball. <laughs> You're right. This is just so nice. He improved on it. He hit it even better. Wow. For the match. For the match. And a win over Shane Van Boney. Clint Gracci beats Shane Van Boning. Great match, folks. Great match. And we'll see you at 9 o'clock ah. for the next one. Mm -hmm.